Hello guys, so I am so so excited for today's video because today it is a very a special kind of a video. This is uh, the first time we are going to actually review an electronic uh, equipment or a device that we use in labs. It's going to be a very exciting video because it's a very new experience and it's going to be really uh, useful for you. You can gain some information about this device as well. So today we are going to re uh, review the Gochi Fix 3-in-1 uh, device so it is uh, claiming to be an oscilloscope a multimeter and a waveform generator so this is a three-in-one device to be honest i've never heard about such a three-in-one device uh, i have used multimeters digital multimeters in the laboratories uh, while i was uh, you know conducting labs and all and i have also used uh, waveform generators i have used uh, scopes oscilloscopes also but three-in-one like three things together as a single package it's kind of really exciting so it has already 50 percentage of the marks for its uh, functionality itself now let's go and explore this uh, very uh, neat packaged uh, device uh, in this video so it is going to be the review of this goji fix three in one device so it is written oscilloscope plus multimeter plus waveform generator Okay, so let us open this uh, cute box together. Everything is inside. The main device is inside. The props are inside. You have a user manual and everything. Uh, so let's open together this box. Okay, so when you open it, you can see there is props in neat packaging. So there is, this definitely can be used for multimeter purpose. And uh, yeah, let's see how it is used. Okay, and there is other props that can be used for waveform generation and connecting to the device and connecting to other equipments as well there is uh, the main device that is here in this uh, cloth packaging and when you open this cloth packaging you can see the actual device like this we'll use this and understand there is several set of manuals this is the scope uh, meter user manual this is the simple operation uh, instruction diagram this is a simple operation instruction diagram uh, it has like you know you can use it for quick uh, usage and there is also this user guide which will help you to understand what all things is there in this there is a usb connector that can be used for connecting the uh, device for charging there is some extra uh, you know connectors and things if you lose something or yeah so these are the things that is included here let us start exploring the main device first and then we'll see uh, what all other things is there okay yeah Okay, let me just put this aside. Okay, let us see the main device. So when you look into this uh, device, you can see there is a built-in battery in here. There is also a slot for connecting the USB charger, which we have seen right, right here. I believe there is plenty and enough charge, so we don't need this as of now. So I'm gonna put this aside. So this is a charging slot. It has a pretty uh, big display, which says Gochi Fix. It has buttons in that for selecting various functions. I'm pretty sure it is for the waveform generation. There is also, uh, yeah, there is also uh, various things that it can measure. So if you if you press the AWG, that is uh, waveform generation. And you can use it for various functions for generating various waveforms then there is also different things that we can measure there is voltage ac dc and frequency there is capacitance there is resistance there is diode checking and there is continuity and there is current ac dc so we these are the things that we definitely uh, that we can generally see in a uh, multimeter or digital multimeter and below you can see there is various slots for connecting the props for measuring the values voltage common milliampere current and 10 ampere current this is just like the uh, multimeter 
that we generally use in laboratories that I have generally used. Okay. There is options for connecting various channels, channel 1, channel 2. There is utility function. There is an enter button. You can move this with the help of these arrows. There is trigger. The power button is pretty big. And there is a save option. There is menu and auto. So when you actually turn this on, I'm going to turn this on. So you can hear that uh, beep sound. You can hear the blue button is on now. You can see the fancy display here. And also here, if you can see, there is an option for connecting the props. There is channel 1, channel 2 and out. This is two inputs and this is one output. Okay, you can understand if you have any questions or if you have any doubt. The user manual is the, uh, the best thing you can use for understanding. Now I'm going to use this stand and I can keep this thing to make a uh, set like this. Okay, let's see how the multimeter works. I have a small battery and I'm going to uh, kind of measure the voltage. Okay, let's start using this prop. So everything comes in neat packaging so it's easy to use and easy to put it back or put it aside. Okay. So this is the, yeah. Okay, so these are the uh, props for the channels, I believe. We can use this later, but let's first use the, the multimeter purpose. Okay, you can see that these are the connectors to the uh, device, which you have to insert into this uh, slots, which you have already shown. I have to insert this into the slots common the black goes in here and then the uh, red goes in any of this can we voltage current if you want to measure you have to use this okay so i'm gonna measure the voltage here just to show like how it works just you have to take this out and then put it back the Red also you have to take it out and put in the voltage. Okay. Now I'm going to take a battery I have with me. And I'm going to put that for, or I'm going to use it for measuring. Yes. Okay. So this is a, a normal battery that has like a, uh, reading and everything written on it. So it's a 1.5 volt battery You have a positive and a negative. So for measuring you have to first Just understand first you have to take this out. Okay, so this is kind of pointy ones You can see it here. It's kind of pointy. So just to For the safety things they have put the The, the You know the caps, okay so let's measure the voltage. I'm going to put the positive here and the negative in here. You can see the measurement. It's reading 1.61 1 approximately. So when you when you press the voltage, you can see the options here. DC voltage, AC voltage, hertz and duty cycle. Yeah, I believe you can see it. Okay, now you can see, right? So DC voltage, AC voltage, hertz and duty cycle. So in order to select those options, F1 goes for DC, F2, then it changed to AC voltage, then hertz. So you can select the functions based on this function buttons. This is the uh, central one which has all the functionalities and in that if you want to have options F1, F2, F3 and F4 then like that you can select the in order to measure the resistance I'm gonna I'm gonna see what all things is there there is resistance uh, diode is there I believe you can see yeah there is uh, yeah audio there is capacitance continuity continuity and capacitance just like that, there is current. 
current is DC milliampere current, AC milliampere current, DC current and AC current. So these are the various options that you can have, can measure. And if you go for a waveform generator, which I can show you. Yeah. So when you press this button, so this is the selecting button, like what option want you, uh, you want to select. If it is a voltage, then you can have all these options. AC voltage, DC voltage, Hertz and duty cycle, everything is included. And with the functions or function buttons, you can select it. Then you, uh, if you want to go for a resistance, capacitance or anything, you can go for this button, then select based on this functions. Now, if you want to have a function generation, like if you want to generate a waveform, this is the uh, button that you have to press. And in top, you can select. You can see this is channel 1, this is channel 2 and this is the output. Okay, these are the two input channels and this is the output. Now, what are the options available here? Sine wave is there, F1 sine. And if you press the F2, sorry, again F1 again, then you can have square. Again, if you press F1, you can have RAM. Then again, if you press the sine wave. So, these are the options available. Sine, square and RAM. These three waveforms you can generate with this. Okay. Just you have to press F1. The same F1 is used for selecting the waveforms. And F2 is... So this uh, waveform generation button, this button is used for selecting the various uh, waveforms it can generate. And if you want to take this waveform out and if you want to display it on another scope, you can just take it from here. And I'm going to use um, any of the props you can use here. But this prop here, which is, yeah, this one, this one is of my interest. I'm going to take this prop. And if you want to take it to another device or uh, if you want to put it to another board, you can have it with the help of this prop. Okay. So, it's connected to this slot. Okay, so I've connected to the output and you can select the AWG and you can select this function based on that it changes the type of waveform. If you want to uh, adjust the frequency or if you want to change, adjust the voltage or anything, you can have these functions. Okay, so based on this AWG and if you, based on this function, it changes the type of waveforms. Now this is for channel 1 and channel 2. You can definitely have it. Um, so if you want to if you want to take the the values okay so for example if I want to show the sine wave I'm going to just do a some like simple thing and I will show you how it is shown on these channels. Okay. Say I'm going to, I just want to show this waveform in my channel 1. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other prop which is here with me. This prop I'm going to use, see this one with these two uh, plug pins. Yeah, plug pins. So I'm going to select the channel 1. This is the channel 1 slot where you have to insert the prop. Yes. Okay. So that is the channel one and this is the output which will give you this waveform. Okay. I'm going to connect them together so that I'm, I'm going to use this device as a waveform generator and a scope. Okay. Connect the, the black or the grounds together. Yes. And this also I'm going to connect together. Okay, so they are connected together. Don't have to worry about it again. Now this is connected. If you select the channel 1 option here, you can see this is the channel 1 option. Um, okay, what you can see is the same waveform which I have generated in the waveform generation. I'm going. So I have taken the sine wave and I have given to the channel 1. So if you press the channel 1, you can see the waveform there. I am going back to my waveform generation. I am going back to the function. And I am going to adjust the voltage back to 5 volt. Then I am going to channel 1. And you can see the waveform has definitely increased the uh, 
the amplitude has increased so i have uh, selected the sine wave okay so this is not the sine wave this is the square wave so this is a sine wave right so if this is the sine wave if you want to uh, select the waveform what waveform you want to select you want to press the f1 button if you want to adjust the frequency it is f2 voltage peak to peak it is f3 okay so these are the three things mainly we use uh, duty cycle is optional but uh, anyway these two we use uh, mainly so if you want to adjust the frequency here it's possible you can select the numbers megahertz kilohertz uh, milli mega uh, sorry milli kilo mega hertz like that it varies okay i'm going to go for a uh, square wave now okay so select the waveform option it's already selected i have selected the square wave and i want to adjust the frequency it is two kilohertz now so you can see the two kilohertz if you want to change to uh, this is two kilohertz now if you want to go for a one kilohertz just select one and press enter this is where the kilos milli mega everything is there so like that you go to uh, one and press enter now it is one kilohertz see this is one kilohertz now earlier it was two kilohertz like that you can select this is f3 when you select the waveform generator it is used for peak to peak that is amplitudes okay now everything you can see on the channel two sorry channel one i have selected the channel one now okay if you want to have a ramp uh with the uh, say one megahertz or something let's see whether it works okay yes it is one megahertz now one okay i will just see the voltage and then i will check whether it is working right okay go for the option oh okay the voltage is 0.2 volt that's why it is so less enter now go for channel and you can see the waveform clearly okay this is a sine wave now if you want to have a ramp enter yes it is a yeah so i adjusted uh, the prop to channel 2 just to uh, verify whether this channel is also working so i adjusted the channel 2 and if you just change uh, and see it is it's a ramp wave coming here okay yep so the waveform is coming right so this is uh, these are several functionalities that you can use if you want to save something that you have already measured or something you can use this uh, auto tuning you can use this trigger generation utility everything the main uh, interesting thing i found here is it is having a multimeter it is having a waveform generator and it is also used for measuring the things and there is a scope so this part actually corresponds to the uh, uh the multimeter part this is the the generation wave of generation and the the adjusting parts and this is the oscilloscope uh buttons okay so this is definitely a, a device that is de that is useful in my opinion so if you also want to buy this you can get a 25 percentage off the code i'll be putting in the uh, description the link for the device is also in the description you can go check out the device it's definitely useful because it's uh it's having a lot of things together in a single device so it's definitely useful so if you want to try it out you can definitely try it out and you can uh, let me know in the comments how you found it useful or not useful how is it uh yeah so that's it i'm definitely hoping that you found the content useful if yes please consider subscribing the channel we are definitely uh, going to do a lot of reviews on devices uh, that will be coming soon on the uh, channel um, and also we'll be posting videos on job updates job related career guidance related things that will be also coming soon so please stay tuned for those uh yeah thanks for watching and keep on watching